الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Islam and from the usul of Islam is that we are one ummah and we're not divided that we cooperate and work together in unity and harmony and that we should be a unified force in inviting people to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kirim in regards to this unity in regards to this cooperation in regards to this call to goodness and unifying upon goodness qala subhana wa ta'awun wa ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa وَلَا تَعَوْنُوا عَلَىٰ إِثْمِ وَعُدْوَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and cooperate all of you in righteousness and piety and do not cooperate in enmity and hatred so here we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms that the Muslims should cooperate and the Muslims should be unified and the Muslims should come together on good and khair piety God fearfulness and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same ayah prohibits us from disunity from hatred and enmity so we know that that's the asl this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us however in studying the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam we see that this is muqayyid that this unity is muqayyid it is restricted and that means that this unity is restricted to the book and the sunnah and that this unity is not based upon our desires and this unity is not based upon having a similar political philosophy or ideology or political viewpoint but rather this unity if we look at the nasus if we go and study the book in the sunnah we'll see that the nasus lets us know that this unity is based on our adherence to the quran and our adherence and acceptance of the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam so it's not a unity based on hawa and desires but it's a unity based on that which will benefit us this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with commands us to adhere to the book and the sunnah and so it lets us know that this unity is muqayyid, it's, it's restricted. It's restricted to the aqeedah, the itiqad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And it is restricted to the madhab and the minhaj and the methodology of the Salaf al Salih, how they understand the Quran and the Sunnah. How did they interpret the Nasus? This is what we're ordered to unify upon. And this is a part of the ta'awunu ala biri wa taqwa. This is a part of the cooperation or cooperating in righteousness and piety. Because how could there be another definition for the Muslim of righteousness and piety except that of which the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam calls us to? So this is why you see the Salaf and those who follow them were so, they seem restrictive. In fact, they are restrictive. And they seem kind of 
a stern because they're stern and vigilant and adhering to the Rasuls. Because this is the way of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi ordered us to do. He didn't say that unify upon anything. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tabarak wa ta'ala commands us, وَتَعَوْنُ ala بِرِي وَتَقْوَى Cooperate in righteousness and piety. And then prohibits us from cooperating in other than on bid'ah, kufr, shirk, ilhad, and ma'asi and sinfulness. As we see so much sinfulness, as we see from ourselves, first and foremost, and may Allah forgive us all, and from our brothers and sisters. We see, and returning back here to the States, we see the new boundaries of the hijab that not only do the women not cover their face, this is that's something aside from what we're discussing. But we see that it's common to wear pants in a khimar and do those things. So this is uh, what we see has become commonplace. This is not ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa. That's not cooperating in righteousness and piety, accepting that. Further, we should call one another to good. So, the Muslim is indeed in need of ilm and nafia, beneficial knowledge of the book and the sunnah, beneficial knowledge of the madhab of the salaf, in order to understand what it means to cooperate in righteousness and what it means to be away from sinfulness, to understand that we don't have to just unite on political causes that the our brothers and sisters in Palestine are suffering, our brothers and sisters, the Uyghur people are suffering in China, or this and that and the other. We should cooperate and protest. We should cooperate in, in writing letters to our congressmen or congresswomen. No. But rather our mokif, our mokif sahih is that we should be cooperating on righteousness, on worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we should have the same concept of what it means of the ibadah that we should be returning back to the Quran and the Sunnah to the Nasus according to the Madhab of the Salaf and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil rectify the fears of the believers everywhere wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam